Gulliver's Travels, an epic adventure bedtime story for kids. Once upon a time, in a bustling city, there lived a kind-hearted doctor named Gulliver. Known for his healing skills and adventurous spirit, he had always dreamed of exploring the world. But one year, the city's bustling life slowed down, and Gulliver found himself with no work. As a lover of adventure, he saw this as a chance to fulfill his dreams, so when a job on a ship became available, Gulliver eagerly joined the crew, setting off for a brand new life on the sea. For the first few days, Gulliver's life aboard the ship was exciting. The vastness of the ocean, the calls of seabirds, and the camaraderie with the crew filled his heart with joy. But adventure soon took a dangerous turn. One evening, a powerful thunderstorm struck the ship, bringing towering waves that crashed against it. The crew struggled for hours, but the furious storm only grew stronger. Eventually, the ship could no longer hold, and with a final crack, it tipped over. In the chaos, Gulliver and a few crew members managed to escape onto a small rowboat, rowing frantically to survive. They clung to their boat, but fate had other plans. A monstrous wave crashed over them, capsizing their tiny boat, leaving Gulliver alone, struggling to stay afloat in the cold, dark ocean. For hours, he battled the waves, his strength fading, until finally, a powerful current washed him onto an unknown shore. Exhausted, soaked, and unsure where he was, Gulliver collapsed on the sand and fainted. When he woke, Gulliver felt strange and found himself unable to move. To his astonishment, his arms, legs, and even his hair were tightly bound to the ground. Blinking against the morning sun, he looked around and gasped in amazement. Surrounding him were tiny people, no taller than his palm. As he stared in awe, they looked at him with equal wonder, some trembling in fear, others armed with tiny bows and arrows, which they fired at him when he tried to sit up. Please, I mean you no harm, he called out gently, hoping to calm them. Slowly, the tiny people relaxed, seeing Gulliver's kindness. They continued to keep him tied up, but provided him with food and water. After a few days, the villagers, seeing he was no threat, tied him onto a large cart drawn by hundreds of small horses and transported him to their town, Lilliput. The site was surreal, tiny houses, tiny gardens, and a grand palace where the Lilliputian king ruled. The king was wary but curious about Gulliver, this giant, who had washed up on his shores. I will allow you to stay, the king declared, but you must follow our rules and help our kingdom. Gulliver agreed, signing a special document promising to be respectful and helpful. He would not lift anyone without permission, and he would assist in any tasks needed around Lilliput. Soon, Gulliver became a valued friend to the Lilliputians. He helped with construction, fetched water, and repaired buildings that would have taken the villagers weeks to complete. One day, however, trouble came from the neighboring kingdom of Blefuscu, who had been planning to invade Lilliput for years. Blefuscu's ships were ready to sail across the narrow sea and attack. Gulliver, wanting to protect his newfound friends, approached the king with a plan. Under cover of night, he took a long rope, waded through the shallow waters, and reached the enemy's port. Carefully, he tied their ships together and, with the strength of a hundred men, pulled them all back to Lilliput. The Lilliputians cheered, celebrating his bravery and ingenuity as he helped them capture the enemy ships without a single Lilliputian harmed. The king was overjoyed and rewarded Gulliver with a hero's feast. Over time, Gulliver's popularity grew, but so did envy among the king's advisors. They feared Gulliver's influence over the king and whispered rumors, saying he would one day take over Lilliput. Distrust began to spread, and though Gulliver was loyal, the king eventually decided to exile him. Gulliver was heartbroken but respected the king's decision. He prepared to leave, but didn't know how he would survive the journey back to sea. One evening, a kind Lilliputian told him of a secret. A boat had washed ashore in a distant part of the island. With help from his friends, Gulliver found and repaired the small boat. Grateful to the Lilliputians for their kindness, he promised never to forget them. 
As he set sail, the townspeople gathered to bid him farewell, waving and cheering as he drifted into the ocean. Days passed as Gulliver navigated the vast waters, battling storms and surviving on the little food he had. Just as he began to lose hope, he spotted a ship on the horizon. Desperate, he called out, and to his relief, the crew spotted him, rescuing him from the ocean's depths. Back on the ship, Gulliver eagerly shared his incredible adventure with his new companions. They listened in awe as he recounted the tiny kingdom of Lilliput, the brave king, and the friends he had made. Gulliver's heart was full as he sailed back home, cherishing the memories of his time in Lilliput. Although few would believe his tale, he knew the adventure would live on in his heart forever, sparking a longing for more journeys in the vast, mysterious world that awaited him. And so, Gulliver looked out over the endless ocean, ready for whatever adventure lay ahead.